What do you make of the decision, Key, by McCarthy to kick the field goal and then the play calling on that final drive? Well, I think it's both, right, Max? The, the kick the field goal, right decision. Play calling, I question um, because when you think about it, they cross the 50 after the Chris Godwin fumble. They get it on the 10. They get down there a couple of big plays by C.D. Lamb. C.D. Lamb was cooking at that point in time, so I think they got a little excited. What they should have been doing is matching plays that would both give them the yardage but also eat up the clock, meaning don't throw the ball when you're going to get incompletions. Although your running game wasn't working to be able to gash the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but it all starts bad at about a minute. I want to say it was about a minute 50, minute 51 in the game uh, in clock stoppage because there was an incomplete pass. Evan, I want you to do me a favor. Give me that timeline really quick, if you can, of when the clock stoppage started at the 150-ish mark with yeah, C.D. So, Lamb. So they had the third down 11 pass to Lamb for 31 yards across midfield. Then they, they took the timeout with 151. The next play was a incomplete pass to Lamb. Then they ran it with Zeke for four yards. Tampa took a timeout there. Mm -hmm. So if they hadn't thrown the incompletion, they would have forced Tampa to take the timeout, obviously, on first down. And then it, they, they passed yeah. to Zeke, and he got pushed out of bounds. And then there was See, also that, so, holding okay, on so, that play. So that was, again, the clock stopped. So here you go again, no, Max and Jay. You, you, you throw the ball after, after you run the Zeke four. Now you're throwing the ball to a running back on the sideline who gets pushed out of bounds, but you also put the offensive lineman in a position to try to protect the quarterback. So therefore you get a hold. Now that completely moves you back from where you were eating up the clock and running up the clock. If you would have just ran the ball to pick up those few yards that you tried to get by throwing it on the perimeter to your running back who went out of bounds, you wouldn't be put in that position. The clock would still be running, but they didn't do what the sense of urgency plays that they needed to to match the clock with the mindset of knowing, hey, that dude on the other sideline, what you say he got, 49 comebacks? They didn't. It, it didn't factor into their game planning when they were on the sideline in their two-minute situation. Okay. And so yeah. the only option they had but to Key, do don't was you kick think, the field Don't you goal. think the way Kellen Moore was seeing Dak Prescott play, and I understand situational football, you, you run the ball, but, but I, I hear what you're saying. But just trying, but, trying but to Jay, get a see, lead in that you, situation, trying to – I understand what you were talking about throwing the ball to Ezekiel Elliott. No, but wait. But wait, here's, 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 what, here's what happens in that situation. So yeah, that yeah, you, tell me, tell me, tell me. kind of know is that – you can force Tampa Bay to use another timeout. And now they don't have anything. And now, all of a sudden, you can pick and choose from your call sheet what the best runs are in, in that situation for you, although you were not getting the amount of yardage that you thought you would have been possibly getting throughout so the rest of the game. This turns into an indictment on coaching, on the coaching yeah, staff. Yeah, but, but let, let's go back for a second. I think that's a very good point that Key's pointing out. Like, a lot, that fans watching the game, what you get caught up on is – wait, there's a minute 24, whatever it was, you're giving Tom Brady back the ball because you opted to kick the field goal, and then all he needs to do is put the, the, the Bucks in the position to kick a field goal to win the game. Should you have go, gone for it on fourth down? And Key's saying, hold on, back up. Before you get there, there's play calling involved mm -hmm. on that final drive that put you in that position in the first place. I think that's the right point. Nevertheless. Situational yeah. plays, no doubt, Max, no doubt. is what it's called. Nevertheless, you can't undo it once it happens. And there you are on fourth down. Now, my feeling was watching the game that once they kicked the field goal, the game was over. Tom Brady was not, after winning the Super Bowl and opening it home against the Dallas Cowboys, going to fail on a over a minute left on the clock game-winning drive where all you got to do is put him in a position to kick a field goal, right? That wasn't going to happen. So I felt like, in a way, it was a white flag by kicking the field goal. So even I understand, Key, what you're saying. You're right, obviously. Uh, mm -hmm. But let me ask you, Jay, is it the right choice at that point to kick the field goal? You can't undo the play calling beforehand. If you're down one, yeah, you kick the field goal. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't go for it. I, I kick the field goal. Key? I, mean, I, I think that was the right play. You got to kick, kick, kick the field goal. Because if oh. you don't get the ball back... I mean, you had three I, – I, I believe they still had their timeouts, but still. You got to kick the field goal with a minute 24 to go. You can't you, – you, you just can't take the chance that 
oh, we're going to get the ball back and we're going to be able to to go back down on a Tampa Bay's defense that's probably going to tighten up at that particular yeah, or, situation. Or, or you can score. You know, you can score a touchdown. Like, fortune favors the bone. Yeah, I know conventional I wisdom that. is kick the field goal, but was – let me ask – okay, let me ask you this, Key. Was Did you think that Dallas could win the game when you saw the time on the clock and Brady with the ball? I, I thought the game – like, I could have turned off the TV. That I knew I knew Tampa was going to win. I I thought they could – see, that's diff, you, you asked me a different question, a difficult mm. question, right? Because <laughs> at the say, it's difficult because I thought they could win the game. But I knew damn well they wouldn't go win the game because I knew the other guy underneath the center, number 12, all he needed was about, I don't know, 50 yards to get in the field goal range on a couple big chunk plays down the middle, and all of a sudden he was going to be in field goal range to kick a field goal. They got more, 11-play drive. He didn't even need mm -hmm. an 11-play drive. All he needed was probably five nice plays to put him in field goal position. Just so happened here. Here's what I would say, Max, now, and Jay. So I just had the conversation about Mike McCarthy and methodically moving the ball down the field and doing the right plays to take the clock down to a certain point. Guess what? Byron Leftwich called the right yeah. plays, 11-play drive, methodically moving down the field and only left Dak Prescott with two seconds on the clock. They didn't go down and score quickly. They said, oh, okay, we're not going to leave any time on the clock left for Dak Prescott. We're just going to methodically use the field, the clock, go down, hit some chunks here and there, and get us in field I goal. Thought, right. I thought the and Cowboys then, leading up to that drive, they had a legit shot to win the game. I thought they had a legit shot to win the game. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.